And now this is not the tuna's tussy. This is the slip from him cutting the tuna in half, giving us some sushi grade tuna. Looks like I kind of want to slap that. If you hit that just right, you know that would make one of the most satisfying slap sounds ever. Oh, look at him. He's wanting to rub it down. Uh-huh. He can't keep his fingers out of it. Still, we'll just never get over the fact of how much one of these fish are worth. The fact that one tuna can be worth 50 grand plus is crazy to me. Like, if you happen to come across four of these bad boys, they're worth more than a fucking house. They're worth more than a supercar. You're almost better off finding four of these tuna than a chunk of gold. I mean, you'd have to know exactly what to do with it even if you did find them. You've only got a short time to cut it up, fillet it, package it, and get it on the ice and do everything properly before it goes bad. Also, you'd have to be an expert with this knife because you know that thing's sharp as hell in one bad move and I think them fingers are gone. That or you're going to give yourself a cut as big as that tuna, which means you're going to need some major stitches. And you know what they say, stitches get bitches. Or no, it snitches get stitches. Whatever. As long as it rhymes, it still has just as much meaning. What's crazy though, and I'm not making